I have a package. I wonder what it is. Let's find out. Alright guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic PCs, and today we're going to be finding out what is in this lovely box in part 2 of my Hackintosh build. Um, this is the ultra-budget Hackintosh, and in this box, from the land of eBay, is an MSI GTX 750. This is a Maxwell card that is capable with Mac OS X. Uh, 10.13 to be exact. Um, the reason why I purchased this card is because the GTX 7 shitty uh, does not work with macOS Sierra. So I needed to get something a little bit newer because that is just rebadged, rebadged, rebadged shit um, that worked with Sierra. So now that I've got this GPU, my otherwise fully functioning Mac uh, Hackintosh should be complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down underneath the desk. I'm going to install this graphics card, and then we're going to hop into Sierra and hope that it works. So let's go down. All right, so now we're here in the down under, and we can see the budget Hackintosh. I'm just going to unplug it. Uh, it wasn't powered on, so don't worry about that. But this is the system. Once again, I'm going to cover the specs. Uh, First off, the CPU is an Intel Q9550. That is a quad-core CPU. We have 4 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, an Intel DG41RQ motherboard, a Cooler Master Gemini uh, version 2 S524, a 400-watt EVGA power supply, uh, a 240-gigabyte Kingston SSD, all housed inside my old main case, which is the Corsair 350D, and uh, some Noctua fans that I had laying around. Like previously mentioned, I used to use the GT710 in here, but that was incompatible with Sierra. So we're moving on up to the GTX 750. This is not the TI version. It only has one gig of VRAM, but it'll be more than enough for, for what I plan to do with it in Sierra. So all I should have to do is insert this but of course I have thumb screws installed. Um, and so once I remove the thumb screws, I can just install this, and then I should be able to boot into Sierra with my current boot settings. And we'll see how it goes. Now this GPU SIP power, uh, it only draws 55 watts um, under load, and so therefore it doesn't need that uh, six pin power connector. Uh, it's also fairly large. It looks to be about 9.6 inches, which is like a standard size graphics card, which is weird because this thing has very few memory chips and a relatively small uh, die on it. All right, and so now it's all screwed into place. It looks good. Hopefully it runs nice and quiet. It should. It has one 92 millimeter fan on there. Um, and let's try it out. So we'll go ahead, side panel back on. All right, and so the Hackintosh is plugged in. I'll just get the mouse and keyboard. Um, this is a $5 mouse I got at Five Below. Uh, it looks kind of like a Magic Mouse, except really shitty. And then for a keyboard, I have this Logitech wireless keyboard that I got a couple years ago when I painted uh, for some reason, or it looks absolutely terrible. But that's what I'm using for peripherals right now. Uh, if any company out there is watching and would like to send me a nice uh, keyboard that is compatible with my Hackintosh, I will gladly review it. But let's go ahead and power this thing on. So the fans are spinning. We got the beep sound, and now we see the boot screen in full 1080p, which is great. It should go into Clover. And I'm just going to go ahead, go to Graphics Injector. It sees the 750, Inject NVIDIA, and let's see if it works using the web drivers. Alright, and so now it should switch in a moment to regular HD 1080p, hopefully. 
That would be ideal. And we'll see. Okay, there is the switch to 1080p. And here we go, we should have full graphics acceleration. Okay, there it is, full 1080p. Let's go ahead and uh, open up about this Mac. And there it is, we see the 2.83 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon, which it's actually not a Xeon, four gigabytes of 800 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM, and an MSI GeForce GTX 750, although oddly enough, it's reading it as it has zero megabytes of um, VRAM, which is odd, to say the least. It should be all set. Let's go ahead and hop over to YouTube. Let's play a video from everyone's favorite uh, YouTuber. Jacktastic PCs. So the last video before this one, Jack Ask. Wow, YouTube has four minute ads. That's weird, but it's skippable, so that's good. This mouse does not work well. I need a new mouse too. Anyone want to send me a mouse? I have a mouse. I have more mice. Should be able to watch 1080p video without any stuttering. And it looks smooth. Seems to be a success. So, now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to try and find some benchmarks that I can run on macOS, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. So, peace. Alright, and so now we're going to go ahead, we're going to test Cinebench for the first time on this computer. And we're going to go ahead and run the CPU test. Remember, this is only a 4-core, and it's decently old, so I don't expect it to put up blazing numbers, but we'll compare it to some other CPUs uh, in just a minute. For reference, my dual-core Xeon build uh, at its highest has scored uh, 2010, so I don't expect this to be anywhere near that as my computer, my main computer, has eight times as many processing threads. But we'll see how this goes. And it's just about finished now. Scored 311, which is uh, below... So, yeah, it, it's a fair bit below modern i7s by, like, 250%. But uh, for a cheap CPU that doesn't have hyper-threading and maxes out at 2.8 gigahertz, not too bad. Uh, it is above some other like i5s and i3s obviously and such but uh, not not too bad could be significantly worse so now let's go ahead and let's run the OpenGL benchmark this should take significantly less time I've also gone ahead and downloaded Steam which I'm actually pretty surprised how many of my 150 Steam games run on Mac OS that's, that's pretty great pretty great Something I definitely do not miss about using Macs, though, because I don't use them all that frequently in school, uh, is the pinwheel of death. Even on this pretty fast SSD, things can take quite a time to load. So it's looking silky smooth so far. The uh, GTX 750, definitely not a bad graphics card. Um, I got mine for $50. Uh, which seems to be a pretty pretty fair price for a GPU of this of this level, um, but it's definitely doing perfectly fine with this. So we'll see we'll see how this goes. All right, and in the OpenGL benchmark, we saw 40 FPS, which is definitely not bad. Um, that is significantly further ahead than a GT620. A little, it seems to also be a fair bit behind a 460, um, but I'd l like to attribute that to possibly VRAM. 
Um, and keep in mind, I'm running this in OS X, so I don't know how much better this is, or uh, how much worse it is to run it in OS X. But, so that's that for Cinema 4D. I'm going to go ahead and install a game real quick, and then we'll run that game. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and install Tomb Raider 2014. Uh, this will take about 30 minutes, so when it's all done, I will be back, and uh, I will show you guys how it's going. Alright, and so Tomb Raider is done downloading. I've run the bun uh, benchmark once, but I'm going to run it again for you guys. Um, everything works really well. Um, while this is running, I'll talk about it. Everything runs really, really well. The entire system, super snappy. I do plan on upgrading it to 8GB of RAM, because personally for me, what I plan on eventually doing with this machine, 4GB is just not going to cut it. Um, so I'm going to upgrade it to 8GB of RAM, and there's nowhere else I can really go with a CPU in this, so once I step up to 8 gigs of RAM, that's probably where this machine's going to stay. Uh, I might do a part 4 after the next part, which is going to be trying to install it on a, like, generic, excuse me, Dell computer. Um, so in that part, I'll switch to my Hackintosh for like a week or two, and I'll try and do everything I do. Uh, on my Hackintosh, and I'll install a Windows VM just so I can play Overwatch, because um, unfortunately Overwatch does not run on Mac OS X. But uh, other than that, everything runs really well. Um, graphics performance is perfect. Uh, networking works well. The sound is perfect. Everything is absolutely perfect. I couldn't be happier. Uh, and right here, minimum FPS in Tomb Raider, 28.5, max 61.6, and average is 55.6. That is at 1080p normal settings, which is super playable. That's like great. You could turn off like or turn down one setting and keep a consistent 60. Um, and so this is awesome. I'm really pleased with how this came out. If you had just bought the motherboard, a Q6600 4 gigs of RAM, a GTX 750 and a power supply and a storage drive or grabbed a storage drive some, uh, from somewhere, you could have this exact build for just about $100 um, without the case and the extra beefy CPU cooler and extra fans. Uh, and so I have successfully completed the $100 Mac and I challenge my fellow friend YouTubers to go ahead and try and build a $100 Macintosh and see what they can do. I'm sure they can probably do better. Um, they can definitely do better, but this is a great build. It works well, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really did, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little notification icon so that uh, you can see whenever I upload a video. And additionally, I'm going to be doing a uh, Ask Me Anything in my next vlog video. So comment down below anything you'd like me to answer in the next video. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching and peace out.